Basically, the entire country and the world have completely forgotten about Joe Biden as Kamala Harris now takes over the spotlight. Uh, Axios has a report that there is tension building between aides in the Biden White House and the Harris campaign. Apparently, Biden's most loyal, loyal staffers, they're still hurt. Their boss got shoved to the door and some on the team Harris are worried that Biden may be trying to overshadow her on purpose to remain relevant. Now, this, as sources are telling Fox News, that the Biden White House has been trying to give Harris opportunities to take initiative, but she hasn't exactly risen to the occasion. Here with more, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Senator, welcome back. You've got your own tough race. Uh, I think you might set a record in terms of the amount of money thrown against one candidate. We'll talk about your race. What do you see as the state of the race in the country right now and those seven swing states we're also focused on? Well, listen, I think the Biden-Harris White House is in panic. Uh, I think with the story you just reported on is real. I think the hardcore Biden loyalists are angry. They're angry that their boss was, was thrown out unceremoniously defenestrated, thrown out the window. And to be clear, I don't think Joe Biden left voluntarily. I think Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer said, get out. And if you don't get out, we will exercise the 25th Amendment and force Kamala on you. And I think the Biden loyalists are mad. Now, their only argument was Biden's going to lose. Well, now Kamala's losing. Right now, Donald Trump is winning in six of the seven swing states. I think the momentum is with Trump and the Kamala campaign is panicking. Listen, you know it's bad. When Saturday Night Live turns on Kamala, that happened this, this Saturday with a cold open. And I think we're going to see more and more of that momentum between now and Election Day. How do you feel about the Senate? You're a big part of that. Um, my sources in, in Texas say that you're up probably by four or five. I know some polls have shown it a little closer. Uh, but with that said, like I'm telling people in this race with President Trump and Kamala Harris, you better assume that your vote is the deciding vote in the election. And in, like in Texas, if you're in Texas and you care about border security, if you don't want uh, Harris-Biden inflation, uh, if you don't want to pay high gas prices, if you want law and order, you better pay attention to Senator Cruz and his race. And don't you have a debate coming up soon, too? So I do. Our, our debate is tomorrow. And, and Chuck Schumer has been explicit. I'm his number one target in the country. Chuck Schumer and George Soros are flooding over $100 million into the state of Texas. I'm getting pounded every day. We had a poll just come out yesterday, showed it as a one-point race. And we're getting viciously outspent. And so I'm so appreciative of your viewers going to TedCruz.org, TedCruz.org, and contributing 25 bucks, 50 100 maybe somebody giving 500 or or 1000 But go to TedCruz.org, because when you've got $100 million wild-eyed liberals that want to buy Texas, and here's what Schumer thinks, if he can flip Texas... He wins the Senate and he wins the country. Texas is the battleground. My opponent, Colin Allred, is a hard left Kamala Harris clone. He voted 100 percent with Nancy Pelosi his first four years in the House. He voted 100 percent with Joe Biden from 2021 to 2023. And yet $100 million on the other side is dangerous. So please come to TedCruz.org, TedCruz.org. I need your help and support at TedCruz.org. Well, I want, let me ask you, what are his, mo if 100% you're supporting Harris and Biden, um, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding because Texas has been bearing the brunt of the illegal immigration and open borders policy of, of yeah. the border czar, Kamala Harris. I'm trying to understand why, um, because didn't he have some things to say about open borders himself that uh, he yeah. didn't seem to have a problem with it a couple of years ago, did he? Colin Allred is doing what Kamala Harris is, which is lying like crazy. And $100 million buys you a lot of lies. He's running ads with him in front of the border wall, despite the fact that he calls the border wall that racist border wall that he pledged to tear down. He has voted repeatedly in favor of boys competing in girls sports. He's voted repeatedly in favor of boys and grown men coming in girls bathrooms, their locker rooms, their changing rooms. And I'll tell you, Sean, just a week ago, he joined with 100 left wing Democrats in signing a letter saying that our Defense Department should allow drag shows on military bases, that taxpayers should pay for sex change operations for our soldiers, that they should pay for sex change operations and sterilizations 
for children on military bases. And Colin Allred wants every military base in America to be able to fly the transgender flag above their bases. It is radical. And you know what he's doing right now? He's got millions of dollars of ads on TV saying, that's not true. It's all a lie. Well, his record is there. But I'll tell you, Sean, the only way the people of Texas know his record is if folks go to tedcruz.org, tedcruz.org, and contribute, because right now the other side is trying to buy the race, and they're trying to buy the race through deception and lies. And so patriots across Texas and America going to tedcruz.org makes all the difference. It's going to be a big, it's an important seat. We need you back in the Senate. I think between you and Governor Abbott, I think the two of you and, and by the way, other officials in Texas, to be fair, have been on the front lines of, of fighting the open borders that literally has resulted in dead Americans, Americans raped, victims of violent crime, billions and billions of dollars. And uh, it's been an unmitigated disaster and known terrorists in the country and 13,000 murderers that would they allowed in the country. All of it is, you know, fact check it because it's all true. Uh, Senator Cruz, thank you.